been watching uh, Undercover on uh, Netflix. Um, it's one of the uh, foreign, um, one of the foreign series that is. Um, it's about two cops uh, who are infiltrating a, um, a syndicate of ecstasy dealers in Belgium. Um, they saying the one of the taglines of the uh, Netflix uh, series is that um, where they're selling this ecstasy is kind of like the Columbia um, of ecstasy. Uh, so ecstasy is made in this place um, and then it gets exported uh, everywhere else. Uh, but these two cops are infiltrating a leader of uh, this um, ecstasy syndicate in Belgium. Uh, they live in a summer camp type of estate and they, the two cops come and they rent a bungalow. Um, they, cinema is very dark, very gritty, um, very personal. Uh, the spaces are often very close. Um, so I like the the cinematic um, viewership of this, the angles, the the drone shots, the aerial shots, uh, the uh, landscape. You can tell everything has been selected uh, to tell a key dark tale. Um, in the first one, it, it is a uh, the, it's kind of like a romance with investigation. Um, the two set up as a couple, but they are not very into one another, but obviously they have to play like they are um, when they are part of this summer camp. Um, which the dynamic of the both of them are very is very amazing one is very um how would you say a little aggressive um and the other sh she's a little she plays ditzy but she's actually possibly the more manipulative one she gets in with the uh, with the syndicate um, the boss's wife she gets in tight with her and she forms this relationship with her and it, it really does begin to manipulate and play into so as they begin to position and seat themselves into this syndicate the things that she's willing to do um, is uh, you know, is, is um, in that area of lunacy, you know, you're manipulating people beyond uh, kind of like their elasticity. Uh, the character she manipulates in the second season wants revenge, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this... Um, this is part of that money that went out uh, from Netflix. They invested a ton of money overseas, uh, Australia, Canada, and a lot of places. But this is uh, some of that uh, coming back to them. And this one has been really good. Uh, I've been liking this one a lot. I just, the second season just released um, on Monday, two days ago, so I've been um, watching it, and it's really good. Hope you enjoy it.